Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Perry and I want to tell you a story. It's actually two stories, probably many stories. It is true that my mother was an abusive alcoholic. I would say it was the first 17 years of my life, but that's not true because I know that things changed somewhere around I was probably seven or eight when my mother became, uh, started drinking and became alcoholic and became abusive verbally and physically. My brothers laugh about the stories of her beatings and in some of their minds it was the thing that made them strong. It was the thing that kept them in line. I don't see it that way. But my mother, the other truth is that she transformed. She became the most amazing mother on the planet. She probably already was, but the stress of life, the impact of systemic racism, sexism, the hardships, and the things that happened to her when she was a child all played into what happened and, and what became of her. But she chose to change. She chose to do so. And it's probably not true that she chose to change as much as she chose to be who she really was. In one of our last conversations and in her journals to me, she would say that I was really her mother and that I had come back this time as her daughter so that I could understand. She said that she was able to change because I let her. When I look at my mother's life through the change, even back when there was abuse, I can hear the lessons, I can hear the wisdom, I can hear the funny sayings, I can see the intention of what she was struggling to do. But if I look at all of her life through the lens of those twelve, eleven, maybe ten years, then I see my suffering. I see my pain and I'm stopped in it. I don't get to become everything I desire because I'm stuck in her limitations. There are so many ways of looking at our own history. And there's so many ways of looking at our larger history. And I choose to see it through the lens of I'm still here and doing well. When I look back at the history of African Americans in this country, black folk in this country and I see all the terror and the torment and the things that were done to us and I see some things and ways that we became as a result of what was done to us but I also see that in spite of all of it we keep rising we keep going we keep each generation trying to be a little bit better than the last and the fact that we're still here. It's as if our ancestors are playing the long game for us, even when we're not aware of it. We're told to stop talking about the past, to stop remembering, to stop dealing with our history, while at the same time we're told to revere someone else's history. A history that is not complete because it doesn't tell the whole story. And yet at the same time, 
I watch as people cling to the narratives of what their mother or father did to them for this tiny space in time. As if there wasn't a reason, as if there wasn't a bigger story, as if there wasn't something done to them. I believe in redemption. I believe in transformation. I believe in salvation. And one of the main reasons that I cling to that narrative is because I saw my mother change back into her true self. There were many years that I didn't spend with my family. I'm not saying that you have to go back into the lives of those who have harmed you. But as my mother taught me, forgiveness is not about letting somebody else off the hook. It's about getting off the hook they put you on. Maybe they get to get off that hook too. Nobody leaves here without facing the truth of who they are and what they've done. And nobody leaves here without being given that opportunity to change into who you were meant to be. Make your choices today. I love you.